Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on Arts here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replicate the tilt shift effect in Photoshop. Um, so, what the tilt shift effect is, you can see examples in these three pictures. It just makes the photo look like it's kind of a miniature photo, like a small model of what it actually is. And yeah, it's a pretty cool effect. It's fun to do. You can show your friends. It's not very, you know, artistic or graphical or anything like that. Um, you're probably not going to be using it in your speed arts or anything, but nonetheless, it's a fun effect to do, and it might teach you some things about masks and everything. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to open up Photoshop, and I'm going to choose my picture. Um, this picture is of Six Flags, and it's a pretty good picture. When choosing your picture, you want to make sure your picture is taken from a good distance so it's not like close up obviously because you want it to look like a miniature and also you want to make sure it's kinda of from an overhead point of view um, and that you're not looking at it from ground level because when you're looking at a miniature model of something you don't really look at it from ground level usually you look at it kinda of from an overhead view so just keep that in mind when you're choosing your picture and when you're ready, so pretty much when you got your image, the first step we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer. So to do this, the shortcut is Command J. All right, and now you can see we have a second layer. And this layer, we're just pretty much going to be using it to create the blur that you can see in these images. So first of all, we're going to go down and click this button right here. And it's to add layer mask button. It just looks like a square with a circle in it. So just click that on the second layer. And now we have a mask. So pretty much what we're going to be doing with this mask is we're going to be masking out the area of this picture that we want to be in focus and that we don't want to be blurred. So you can see right here, this is the focus point kind of right over here. In this picture, it's kind of over here. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're on the mask and we can tell because we have the four little like lines around it and we're going to go to the gradient tool and we're going to choose the reflective gradient which looks like this just pretty much one little line in the middle like a horizontal line like this and for the colors on the left we're going to make it black and on the right we're going to make it white with 100% opacity and you should probably have that as one of your defaults if not you can just make it so I'm gonna click OK and making sure we're selected on the mask we're just pretty much gonna drag in a gradient in the area that we want to be in focus and this is actually pretty important um, cuz to make it to make the effect look realistic the focus point also has to be realistic so we wouldn't want the sky to be in focus, obviously. We wouldn't want like these trees to be in focus. It's most likely basically the center or close to the center of your image that you're going to want to be in focus. Kind of, I guess. But I'm going to use this part right here, um, this little town area. So I'm just going to drag the green in like this. And you can see nothing is happening but we have this little black line um, in our mask and that black line is the area that's going to be in focus and the white area is going to be blurred out and this is just pretty much a rough outline of what we want to be in focus and blurred and I'll show you guys how to kind of edit it to make it look perfect in a sec but what we're going to do to um, actually apply the blur is we're going to click back on the image and not on the mask and we're just going to go to filter go down to blur and we're going to be using the lens blur and now you can see it blurs everything except for what's in the mask and if that doesn't happen for you that's because you need to make sure the source is on layer mask and now you should get something that looks like this for the radius, that's pretty much the only thing you can edit, and I like having it being somewhere between 10 and 20. On this image, I'm going to put it at 13, looks pretty good. And you can see that's, that's pretty good, that's most of our effect. 
So I'm going to click OK. But now if we want to make more of this image in focus, or more of it blurry, the way we can make this perfect, we're going to go back to the layer mask, and we can just use the colors white or black to make things blurrier in focus. So if we go to the brush tool, and if we make the color black, this is going to make the size a little bit smaller and zoom in a little bit. Now you can see wherever I put this, it's going to make it in focus, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to kind of carefully go around here. Now if we want to make some of these areas more blurry, we can change the color to white. Just make this brush a little bit softer, a little bit bigger. And you can see, for example, if I aim this over here, it's going to make the image blurry. So, yeah, you can just use it to brushes to get the effect to look perfect, or however you want it. And we're basically done here. But um, one last thing, just to make this effect a little bit more realistic. We're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we are going to do Brightness and Contrast. And we're going to have this layer between the background layer and the mask layer. So it's on top of the background and under the blur, so it only applies to the background. And we're basically just going to increase the brightness a little bit. And we can also increase the contrast a little bit too. But this is just going to pretty much add even more focus to the part of the picture that's not blurred. And of course the effect works without this, but it's just a little subtlety that might make it look a little bit better. Now finally, last thing we're going to do which is also kind of optional, but it might make the picture, the effect look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we're going to do Hue and Saturation. And we're going to want this to be applied to all of the layers, so just make sure it's the top layer. And basically, we're just going to use this to increase the saturation a little bit. Because if you're thinking of kind of a model, it's probably going to be made out of plastic and that makes the colors a little bit brighter so you can see increasing the hue and saturation or increasing the saturation makes this more kind of plasticky and realistic this picture already has a lot of saturation so that's why I'm not increasing it by that much but yeah just make sure um, you add that it will actually help out a lot but that pretty much wraps up the tutorial please like the video it actually really helps and also comment if you want to suggest a tutorial thanks for watching guys this has been I'm on Nerds.